welcome to my channel it is my training if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and share my videos a lot today we are going to start a new video that is uh, sent to us with parallel installation step by step so if you like my videos please subscribe my channel if you want to connect me on my facebook that is my facebook URL is www.facebook.com slash it is training so let's start the lab so at first uh, we have to know that the system requirements of uh, the CentOS uh, where we install a web panel. So make sure that you complete the following tasks before you start the installation process. So we have to uh, complete this following task. First, set up a host name. So it is a very mandatory field. So this host name can be the same any domain that is your server like example.com or smartlab.com I take whatever you want and uh, if you want to change hostname so the hostname is this command so I just connect my server via putty so I, I have already installed a CentOS 7 minimal version so we are configuring this is in a CentOS 7 version so the my IP address is I logged in so now I just uh, my host name which is uh, srv1.smartlab.com is my domain enter okay next set up a server IP address define the additional IP or whatever you want so already I configured my server IP address while installations and I have also an internet access you can see that ping space www.google.com yes it's replying so I have also an internet next the software requirement you must have a cleaner phrase installation supported operating system like CentOS 7, Red Hat 6, Cloud Linux 6, minimal installation and English version only this is the requirement if you have a CentOS 7 this supported only the minimal version not GUI first next to the hardware requirements so if you have a 32 bit uh, CentOS you need a 512 MB of uh, minimum RAM if you have a 64 bit operating system your minimum RAM requirement is 1024 MB recommended system is uh, 4 GB RAM ok and you should also uh, if you have an antivirus then it will be better now you can download CentOS 6 or 7 this is the download link where you can download your CentOS uh, I uh, give you this link in the description box or you can find uh, uh, this link uh, from Google to download CentOS so next first we have to update the server then we can proceed our steps so so yum space hyphen y for installation install and wget command at first I have to install the wget commands then I have to update the uh, sent to a 7 so wget command is installation successfully so through this wget command we will uh, install our CWP uh, sent to a web panel so now I just update my server it will take some time to download it is depend on your internet speed so I have a dedicated connection for that so it will not take so long so till then I just pause my video 
you can see that the download is complete now the installation uh, or updating is going on so after the completing in these steps uh, we will uh, reboot the server so it will uh, work on background that's fine now we are uh, now we just know that uh, what is a CentOS web panel so it is a free web hosting control panel that allows you to easily manage multiple server both dedicated and VPS without the need of access of server through SSH for every small task that you need to do complete it is a feature rich control panel that I am sure you will love I will try to list some of the most beneficial features right down here so like here is a net purchase server PHP 5.4 or higher MySQL email server postfix CSF means configurance of firewall you can backup you can easy manage interface free DNS server live monitoring backup file system lock server configuration auto fixer C plan account migration team speak 3 manager voice video streaming service and these are the main features uh, in the CWP so after uh, uh, updating my system after reboot on this system then we will uh, perform the installation procedure so the installations procedure can take 30 minutes or more uh, so it is a lengthy process so when it is installing uh, then I will just pause the video so there is a command in sent when 6 and if you have then this is the command and sent when 7 and these are the command okay so if this download link are not work then we have to uh, do this download link so at first we check this is working or not so this one is done just reboot wait few seconds you can see that system restarted now I have to uh, install the CWP so I have to go the location that is USR local SRC this is the location of SRC now I try this link it will uh, help me to download the CWP so if this link is not work then we will try different link just type this command it will take uh, time to install all the uh, dependency uh, dependent applications of CWP next we have to reboot the server you can see that the installation 
of saint Teresa panel is successfully we can uh, these are the port these are the port number okay and these are the password certificate name okay so now go to the document so now after the installation we have to reboot the server at 6 you can see that I logged in now I just open the panel I have to open the panel with uh, this URL so uh, server IP address what it is given I just zero three zero and this is HTTP protocol we are using yes except user is you can see the root password is like same mm. so let's see so you can see that this is the panel where you can manage all of the your services over here so this is how we can install CWP. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel and share my videos. Thank you, thank you, thanks a lot.